welcome all so this is the final video of network management series blog in this video we are going to ex explore another netflow collector which is live action live action is not just a netflow collector netflow collection is a piece of a piece of it it is a very broader uh, enterprise software but we are just going to focus on uh, live action as network flow collector so this is my all in one install for netflow uh, live action that means all the live action component server client and uh, collector node they are built in one vm uh, as a small scale lab setup so this is the dashboard now once you log into your live action this is the dashboard you can see and it has some inbuilt uh, uh, widgets like top sites my utilization overall status top devices so you can have very good uh, overview of your network you can customize the dashboard uh, by adding or deleting the widgets the system level uh, management is done from here is a gear icon you can click on settings and once you click on set settings uh, all the licensing proxy updates everything uh, is managed from this system side live action on the uh, on on the left side you have these inbuilt functions so main dashboard you can go back to dashboard if you want to run reports you can run reports you can have insight and you can configure things also from here like site management device management so uh, I prefer web UI to run reports because it it gives you very nice uh, GUI based feature to like what you want to see, what you want to filter, and all those things. But for configuration, I prefer a client, Live NX client, which is a Java based client. So I'm going to use Live Action client for our configuration purpose. And now in this video, we are going to add a, a device or, or a node. To the uh, live action server and see uh, see and monitor the flows so let's log into the live action client logged in to live nx java client and you can see that i have a few devices already configured if you click on devices you can get some more details around it but before that we are going to add one more device for demonstration purpose so to add a device, you can use either add a device or discover a device. If you have multiple devices uh, based on SNMP credentials, you can import a device if you if you want to do it via CSV. Also, you can export device information or uh, whatever device you, you have in live action database. You can export them, edit them and import it back. So a lot of things you can do. For our purpose, we are going to add just one single device. So I'm going to say add device. It's going to be a local device 60.51. This is one of my Cat9 key switches. I'm going to use default SNMP connection setting. That means I have a global SNMP credentials, which is common across. So I'm not going to uh, spe specify it. We are going to use version 2.c or 2c. Now it's testing SNMP connection. That means it's actively reaching out to my device and then check if I have the right communities. Okay, that check is passed. Now the second is CLI setting. Uh, this is an optional live action ask for a SSH uh, mm, uh, connection uh, so that you can make configuration changes. But this is an optional thing. But I, I would like to uh, provide this since we want to configure the flow using live action then next step is CLI setting monitoring same credentials so now it's reaching out to device and see what capabilities are supported a very good feature indeed so what are the paths, what are the succeeded, not succeeded? I'm going to say continue. So now since it has the CLI credential, it is actively reaching out to my devices and see uh, what interface I have available. You can choose what interfaces you want to monitor right, right away or you can come, always come back and uh, uh, add or you know, delete them. 
so by default it looks for the LAN and WAN uh, uh, description uh, under description and select them so I don't want this zero for sure to monitor and I don't want to monitor my management so let's leave it and you can see that I have two routed interfaces which definitely I want to monitor but you can always do these things uh, later on so I'm not we, we, I'll come back and show you how to do that so right now I selected my four interfaces where we have IBG, IGP or BGP neighbors let's go ahead and say select no VLANs these are my selected features what I want to do I want to enable inbar and netflow I'm going to say next IPSLA, no IPSLA, and no QS polling. Uh, well, let, let it do IPSLA polling. It's just doing a polling, it's not uh, actually configuring anything. And polling rate, you can tweet. One minute polling rate seems good. Next, now it's generating configurations. You can see all those live action uh, import and monitor configurations it's going to push on the device and devices I selected or I'm going to say don't push it now we will push it while doing while we do the configuration flow so I'll say I'll manually configure the device myself we'll use live action but we'll use another feature where we say the configure net flow so the, right now it's not pushing any configuration and just finish copy run start yes let's do that and now you can see the GBR or the whatever the host name configured is now showing up here and all my interfaces what I selected they are showing up here so if you click on the device I'm not interested in QoS and routing things but uh, see if it has got the routing information also since it has the read uh, SS, SSH credentials it can read those uh, right let's go back to flow and now you can see that if you click on devices right now uh, we have no net flow configured that's why you don't see any flows here once we configure net flow you can see all those flows and these are the color mapping uh, for different uh, traffic types so, okay a uh, couple of things I would like to show you before we actually go and configure NetFlow is select the device expand it actually opens up the device on, on the right hand side so it tells you the serial number IP address and what uh, OS version is running you can assign it to a site if you are grouping your network in a site fashion you can assign to a site and all so this is the expand and collapse tab now manage you can manage all your devices you can actually go and add them to a group if you want to group devices together like all your WAN devices together or all your regional devices uh, together you can add them to a group by, by configuring uh, uh, creating a group or you can actually go ahead and configure QoS flow and IPSLA all those configuration what we uh, skip during that time so it's going to uh, open up the same dialog box again but I don't want to do it right now so let's close this these are the two tabs and then the dashboard you must be wondering what is a dashboard dashboard is again uh, just like web UI it is for alerts and reports so you can have see your reports uh, all those things it, if you are not logged into web GUI, you can still run reports and everything from a live action client. So the next thing what we would like to do is we would like to right click on that and then you have the same manage, manage management capabilities, QoS, flow, routing. I would like to configure the flow. So let me configure the flow. And in this fashion, we can actually choose what template we want to push. So we can push standard template. Since I know this is my Cat9K switch, I'm going to 
go to the cat 9k template and these are the interfaces I have selected configure flow export destination so you can say that uh, where you want to export uh, the flows by default it is live and node itself but as I shown you in my network uh, uh, blog we, I, we send all our uh, flows to UDP director and then UDP director in turn send the flows back to live action and uh, stealth watch wherever it's required so I'm going to mention the IP address of my UDP director UDP director is by default listening at 2055 and I'm going to say I want traditional net flow you have traditional net flow AVC uh, FNF all those things you can push so I would like to and traditional net flow preview CLI you can see it's very basic so there is no uh, record or monitor and now if I have to show you FNF which is much granular you can see so this has much rich key and key and non key field that means you get um, maximum granularity so we are going to stick to FNF since FNF is supported in our devices and say save to devices and you can watch the progress some devices failed details flow monitor maybe flow monitor on interface on VLAN is not supported so that was my mistake but it, it is not rolled back so it, it is best effort wherever it can push it actually pushes the configuration and wherever it trails it just roll, roll it back on only that portion so you can see that and I'm, at the same time I'm going to go back and verify on my device if the device has got the configuration just to show make sure that the device has got configuration and let me put the device here you can see that it's this is my GBR switch and it has got the configurations here show run int you can see the flow monitor has been applied to the desired interface So now we can just simply close it and very quickly you can see that we already are seeing much of the flows here right. so you can expand this you can if you want you can search a particular flow like flow dot ip and it gives you auto completion so I'm going to find a flow which is going to my UDP director not sure if it was 60.11 or 61.11 but anyways you can see that uh, the device is now showing all the flows